At this point, we all know that Starlink is SpaceX's global constellation of low Earth satellites that provide a global, low latency, high speed internet. They currently have over 8,000 individual satellites in the constellation with more on the way, including larger, more capable V3 satellites that should be able to connect directly to individual phones. But as of right now, in order to access the network, you need to purchase a receiver dish. And these also continue to evolve with the latest version being the Starlink Mini, which is small enough to fit into a backpack and be powered off of a portable power bank. And the sheer capabilities and the future potential of this service are very hard to overstate. Everything from home internet use, enterprise, and even mobile phone networks can all be disrupted by this new technology. And right now, SpaceX essentially has a monopoly over this infrastructure. Although this is about to change, Amazon has been experimenting with their own version called Project Kuiper, launching their first test satellites back in 2023. And Amazon has taken this very seriously. This will be a core product similar to the Amazon Echo, Fire Stick, Ring, and other familiar Amazon devices. And this indicates that Amazon intends to make this as affordable and widely accessible as humanly possible. It's also pretty likely that they are going to closely integrate this with the Prime membership. So on top of free fast shipping, Prime Video, now it can potentially also have high-speed satellite internet all in one membership. And this deep integration with the Amazon ecosystem is going to be one of the, the big potential differences between Project Kuiper and Starlink. But this is all theoretical, and there is no guarantee that Amazon will be able to launch and build the satellite constellation to anywhere near the same level as SpaceX. Now, when it comes to the Amazon network, they officially began building this earlier this year in April of 2025 when they launched their first batch of satellites. And since then, they have a total of five batches of satellites being launched, bringing the total number to 129 active satellites. And the goal stated by Amazon is to start offering this service by the end of this year. Starlink, for comparison, launched their first batch of satellites in early 2019 and didn't start offering service until late 2020. So it does seem that this late 2025 rollout for Project Kuiper seems a little bit ambitious. But even so, 2026 should be a big year for the service. The short-term goal for Amazon is to achieve a constellation of 3,232 satellites, putting it far short of the 8,000 Starlink currently has. But Amazon still claims to be able to deliver high speeds with this somewhat limited constellation. They will have various receivers to choose from, and they're targeting speeds up to one gigabyte for their premium receiver, and even 100 megabytes per second on the cheaper compact version. I'm definitely very interested to see what Amazon has planned for the service, the capabilities, the price, the prime integration, and this should also have a pretty big impact on Starlink. With the new competition, Hopefully the prices across the board will be driven down and provide more options and plans to choose from. I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.